Hey guys, what's going on? Today I am at the inlet with Victor and we are fishing for, what are we fishing for, Vic? Bluefish, mackerel, jacks. It's just absolute insanity out here. Just throwing lures and stuff and just shoulder to shoulder, just an all around good time. Tons of fish, tons of stuff going on. Really fun video, so stay tuned. Super easy, we're just casting these out and getting tight almost every single cast. Alright, but who's gonna catch one first? You or me? How many have you caught? Oh, oh, oh! Haha, <laughs> I got one! <laughs> too soon, it's not over the rail yet. You got a Mac? Yeah, you got a Mac. Keep them, bro, keep them. I uh, flip the tail and put it in Dave's cooler. How much of the tail? Huh? Watch out, Vic. What? How do you do that? How do you? Yeah, same thing. Oh, same thing. Same thing. Oh my god, yeah. What do you want? Clip the tail of it? Yeah, just clip this off of the tail. Okay, easy. Yeah. What are you doing just snipping off part of these this just tail? Yeah, that's fine. Just so that the game won't jump down and jump over so that you know. Oh, oh, oh. It makes sense. What? Those mullet? Oh, that was yeah, so sick. Crushed. Look at them jumping out of the water. Oh, I just got cut off. Well, that's one gotcha gone. Rookies on. Oh. Did you? Nice. You Good it? job. Yeah, I want it. My babe's bringing home dinner. Dinner. That's more like a bluefish, isn't it?
What do you got, babe? Oh yeah, good size one. You have to tighten your drag on that one. Over the rail?
is behind the scenes of filming Brooks intros. Planes, leaf blowers, we can't get a break out here. I swear it's only when we want to film a video, the planes come out from everywhere. <laughs> Everyone decides they want to mow their lawn. <laughs> it's like they're all out to get us. Talk loud. Turn off your lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> That's a leaf blower, babe. Turn off your leaf blower. <laughs> We are home at the flay table and Victor and I caught a ton of bluefish, a ton of mackerel, but we only kept enough for about one, maybe two meals. And then we gave the rest away. In the video, I'm pretty sure you can see that basically any fish that I caught, someone would be like, are you gonna keep that? Are you gonna keep that? I'll take it. <laughs> so we did keep four mackerel and four bluefish, which the legal limit is 10 of each species per person. And then the size limit is 12 inches to the fork on both bluefish and mackerel. And these are Spanish mackerels. Victor and I are both doing a catch and cook tonight. I'm cooking up the bluefish and Victor's gonna cook up the mackerel. I have yet to do a bluefish catch and cook on my channel yet, so that's what you guys are getting. So I'm gonna flay one up now. It'll be fine. <laughs> I swear, every time. Once it got dark last night, Victor and I fished for redfish with jigs, and I caught a pretty big redfish, and Victor caught two big redfish, so that was pretty awesome once the sun went down, so we didn't film that, but I will put up a couple of pictures of that for you guys. I absolutely love fishing this time of year on like piers or inlets and jetties and stuff because catching these guys, catching mackerels and bluefish on artificial on land is just so much fun. Might be the best female flayer I know. <laughs> I'd say you put some voice to shame, Brooke. I met this girl, her name's Nicole, which Nicole, if you're watching this, shout out to you. And she said that she watches my videos and she saw me flaying and she was like, hey, if Brooke can do it, I can do it too. I just love that, that I inspired some chick to decide that she wanted to try filleting fish. And I just think that's so awesome. Like, just because you're filleting fish and you're getting dirty and you're getting bloody, doesn't mean it's just the guy's thing to do. Like, girls, you can do it too. You know, your first few might not be good. I'm not even saying that I'm good at flaying fish. I'm definitely not perfect. You know, practice definitely helps. Don't be afraid to grab a knife from a guy and try flaying. I'm sure, even if it sucks, I bet they'd be happy that you at least tried it. Oh yeah. You can see through the other side of that fillet. You didn't miss any meat. You did great, Brooke. Great fillet job. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, Brooke, we love bluefish, but a lot of people think bluefish are trash fish. If someone were to ask me, Brooke, what do you think is the fishiest fish? I would probably say a bluefish. I still eat them, I still think they're good, but I definitely think that they're the fishiest. What do you think, Vic? Yeah, they're definitely up there. The fact that they have a really big bloodline, very high oil content, but hey, a lot of people will, you know, they take that as flavor, because that's where a fish's flavor comes from. But as long as you take care of your fish, and you know, you ice them down properly and you eat a fish like this in the first few days, they're good. If you freeze this, the bloodline, that's when your fish becomes yeah. very fishy. If you're eating it um, like the first couple days or so, great. If you wanna freeze it, mm, that's when it starts to really taste fishy. But if you eat that bloodline within the first couple days, it's not that bad. There's also bones down the bloodline. Right here, there's bones, pin bones, so. I'm just cutting out that part of the bloodline and then also getting the bones at the same time. Still have some bloodline in the back, but we're not gonna worry about that. Because it's fresh. So it's nice and fresh. Not the whitest of meat, but still gonna be good. Give this to my catfish friends down there. Oh, they're ready, they're waiting for you. Oh yeah. So that's who gets to eat all my scraps. I think you guys should comment below if you want to see Brooke cook up those catfish in the I backyard. I know, a lot of you guys have been saying you want to see a catfish catch and cook, and I'll do one. I'll do one, so be patient. <laughs> so I will finish filleting up the rest of these, and I will meet you guys back in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight I'm doing a crispy baked bluefish with a bang bang sauce on the side. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love fried fish, but we're gonna try it for something a little healthier. Instead of frying it, we're gonna bake it. And what are you making, Vic? I'm doing the frying tonight. I'm making a pan seared with the skin on Spanish mackerel. So let's get to cooking. And one more thing, I wanted to make a salad, but as you guys know, or if you don't know, there's been a recall on romaine lettuce. 
So the only thing that Publix has is green beans in the salad section. So I'm doing a tomato and cucumber salad on the side. All right, so let's get to breading our fish. So I have my fish chopped up into about like two and a half, three inch size pieces. They're all the same size. And I'm going to take those pieces and then dip them into flour, which I have some garlic powder and salt and pepper in there, and then into some egg, and then into my favorite Italian breadcrumbs. And these are my favorite breadcrumbs. And then I'm gonna put them onto this baking sheet, which I'm going to start out by spraying it down with some extra virgin olive oil nonstick cooking spray. Okay, and let's start going. Toast that in nice flour into the egg. Let the excess drip off and then into the breadcrumbs. If you guys like panko breadcrumbs, you can use panko. I absolutely just love these Italian breadcrumbs. And then onto my cookie tray. spray the outside of these with another layer so they're ready when I flip them. They won't get stuck. Now I'm going to make my bang bang sauce, which you just need three components. You're gonna need mayonnaise, a little bit of sriracha, and sweet red chili sauce. So the main thing is mayonnaise. Second main thing is your chili sauce. And then sriracha kind of depends on yourself. If you like things spicy, use a lot of sriracha. If you don't, don't use as much. Also kind of depends on who you're making it for. I think I'm going to add more of everything I just used. I like it. Here's the finished sauce, and I'm going to put this in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. So I had my oven preheating at 400 degrees, and now I'm gonna put these in. And I don't know how long I'm gonna put them in for yet. I'm going to put them in, let the one side get brown, take them out, and flip them. So let's go for, let's say, eight minutes for now. And then we'll check on how they're doing, and then we can flip them. Now for the cucumber tomato salad, I diced up some cucumbers some tomato, and also some onion. I seasoned with some fresh ground pepper and salt. Then I poured over some red wine vinegar and some olive oil. Super simple and very delicious. for about 12 minutes. I checked them and the bottom wasn't that brown so I let them stay in a little longer. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna flip them now. All right, and now they're going back in the oven. Probably less time this time, but let's do another eight minutes. All right. So my fish nuggets are done. This is my first time doing it. I wasn't sure how they were gonna turn out, but they are nice and crispy. I thought everything tonight was really good. Brooks bluefish that was baked was amazing. I thought it was fried at first, but baked bluefish was great. Victor's fish, I was that mackerel. Mm -hmm. Really good. It had a fishy taste, but it wasn't a bad fishy taste. It was really good. And then all the, the side dishes were great too. And Fisher now has a YouTube channel, which I will have linked down in the description if you guys want to check that out. 
Jed, what did you think? It was phenomenal. Uh, you know, we had fish for lunch, and that was fantastic. And I'm just really spoiled. Uh, I can't tell you the last time that I ordered seafood in a restaurant, and I'm kind of worried that the next time I do, I'm going to be disappointed in it because it's not going to be as good as Brook and Victor's. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. I've never had baked fish like that before, and I was actually kind of nervous to do it with bluefish because bluefish is normally a fishy kind of fish, and I actually really liked it. I thought it turned out amazing. Everyone thought it was fried at first. I was worried about it not getting crispy in the oven, but it turned out very crispy and I was really surprised. It was really good. As Brooke said, I was, if I could say one word to describe Brooke's dish, I was surprised because I had no idea that, I honestly, you could not tell the difference between fried fish and then baked fish. And I think that bluefish is probably the perfect fish to do it with because it is oilier, it doesn't dry out in yeah. the oven. That was one thing that I thought was gonna be good with baking it is that bluefish is oily and it wasn't going to dry out. Yep. It was good. It was really good. I would highly suggest trying it. Yeah, definitely try it. It doesn't have to be with bluefish. It can be with anything. Guys, give it a try. I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I'll go first. No, I'll go first. <laughs> no, I'll go first. Okay.